today we're going to be doing a chicken maintenance video and we're going to be showing you what we do for our chickens, including filling their feeding tube, refilling their water, and cleaning out their coop. So first, we go to the supply shed and we'll take out our chicken scoop, which is what we scoop out all of the gross stuff with. And we go over to the coop and clean it out. Before you laugh about my boots, remember, there's nothing funny about chicken poop on your pants. So we got two eggs this morning in our previous video and we will leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. But I'm going to check to see if there's more eggs because it is quite later in the day and uh, they may have laid more. As you guys may have seen in the camera already, it has started snowing and currently we are going to get wood shavings that go on the bottom of the chicken coop um, from my mom's car. So we're just going to go do that. So now that we have the inside of the coop clean, down to the bare wood subfloor, what we're going to do is put diatomaceous earth down. What that does is it allows it to dry up the floor and get rid of some of the moisture and prevent it from rotting or being moldy. all diatomaceous earthed up and it's time to add the shavings what we do is we can just cut a huge like one bag just like a huge square off and then if you push it from the other side it comes out really easy so that's what we like to do and it just makes it so much easier because it's kind of in a huge clump when you open it so And just spread it around. We just give it a couple kicks, kind of break it up a little. We want a nice even layer, just like with the diatomaceous earth. We want to try to get it fairly uniform. Next step for us is emptying their nesting boxes, putting it in the bucket of the coyote, and then getting the new hay and putting that in.
go for a little tractor ride to dump this hay in the compost pile. We're gonna put the new hay in the nesting boxes. So happy, ha happy chickens means lots of eggs. Yep. So we have a new layer of, of wood chips inside. This light. We have some fresh hay. This light in there is because when they have more daylight, it makes them lay more because they only like to lay in the light. And do you have any tricks, Clara, for the hay to get them to like to go in there? So I just put like a reasonable amount and then I'll kind of like swirl my hand to make kind of like a nest shape. So it kind of emulates a chicken roosting in there? Yeah, so it'll be like a little nest for them to lay their eggs. Oh, okay. So see how I made that like a little round in the middle? Mm. Kind of like that. So we have five nesting boxes as you can see. But we really only use, I would say, one or two. They always yeah, seem they to always lay in. seem to lay in this one. They yeah. never really like to lay in this. Generally, we'll get all of our eggs in the far right box. That's why I'm kind of not putting as much in this one today, because I want to see if they'll still use it, even though there's not as much hay, or if they'll go to the ones that are more cozy. So it's kind of like an experiment with our chickens. So that is actually it for the coop portion of this video, but we still have to fill their feed trough and give them fresh water. So let's go and do that. Our particular tube that my dad actually made himself, um, the top is very hard to get off, so usually he'll do that part, and then I'll hold it steady while he pours the food in. Now for the very last step, which is actually fill the chickens water, because especially in these cold months, it freezes and it doesn't last long in the winter months. That's probably the most annoying thing about having chickens in winter months, but in the spring, it's not too bad. Snow is so pretty. Can't see it that well on the camera, but it's coming down. And there's Willow. We're not sure. Once the chickens have their food and water, it does not take them long to get to it. All right, so we scooped out the coop, put down diatomaceous earth, put the shavings in, put the roosting bars back in, cleaned out the nesting boxes, put those back in, and refilled them, and then we give them food and water. We hope that you enjoyed or got something out of today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and come back for more.